Hello everyone. Welcome to this video where we will be discussing cancer and nursing management related questions with answers and explanation of why each option is right or wrong. As a nurse it is crucial to have a good understanding of cancer management as it is a common topic that comes up in the NCLEX examination. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of cancer and the nursing management related questions that is important for NCLEX examination. So, whether you are preparing for the NCLEX examination or just looking to expand your knowledge in cancer management, this video is for you. Let's dive in. At any point you find yourself feeling confused or unsure, I invite you to take advantage of our free NCLEX RN Fast Track practice course. The link to this course is available in the description below, and you'll be well on your way to successfully passing the NCLEX RN exam. So, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and let's get started. A 47-year-old man has been experiencing a change in bladder and bowel habits and a thickening lump in his lower abdomen. He visits a doctor and undergoes several tests, including a CT scan and a digital rectal examination. What is the likely diagnosis based on the symptoms and test results? Your options are A. Prostate cancer B. Colorectal cancer C. Bladder cancer D. Testicular cancer The right answer to this question is B or colorectal cancer. A prostate cancer is a common type of cancer in men and can be detected through a digital rectal examination. However, the presence of a thickening lump in the lower abdomen suggests colorectal cancer as the primary suspect. B colorectal cancer is often detected through a sigmoidoscopy or colonoscopy, which involves visualizing the sigmoid or the entire colon respectively. The symptoms of change in bladder and bowel habits and a thickening lump in the lower abdomen also suggest colorectal cancer. C. Bladder cancer often causes changes in bladder habits, such as frequent urination, and may be detected through a CT scan. However, the presence of a thickening lump in the lower abdomen suggests colorectal cancer as the primary suspect. D. Testicular cancer is often detected through a testicular self-examination, which involves observing for swelling and palpating for a hard rubber-like lump. While a thickening lump in the lower abdomen may suggest testicular cancer, it is more likely to be colorectal cancer based on symptoms and test results. A 50-year-old man comes to the clinic for a routine checkup. He is healthy and has no significant medical history. The physician suggests performing a digital rectal examination to screen for prostate cancer. What is the purpose of performing a digital rectal examination in a healthy 50-year-old man? Your options are A. To detect testicular cancer B. To detect colon cancer C. To detect prostate cancer D. To detect breast cancer The correct answer is C, to detect prostate cancer. A, to detect testicular cancer is incorrect as the DRE is performed to detect prostate cancer. B, to detect colon cancer is incorrect as colon cancer is screened for through sigmoidoscopy or colonoscopy. C, to detect prostate cancer is correct as the DRE is performed to detect prostate cancer. D, to detect breast cancer is incorrect as breast cancer is screened for through mammography or breast self-examination. A 55-year-old man goes to the doctor with a lump on his testicles. The doctor performs a biopsy, and the results come back as a poorly differentiated cancer, grade 3, with a limited local spread, or stage 2. 
What is the next step in treating the patient's cancer? A. Surgery. B. Chemotherapy. C. Radiation therapy. D. Observation. The correct answer is A, or surgery. A, surgery is the first step in treating the patient's cancer. The goal of surgery is to remove the tumor in order to prevent its spread. The type of surgery would depend on the extent of the cancer and the overall health of the patient. B, chemotherapy is used in conjunction with surgery, but in this case, surgery is the first step. C, radiation therapy is used to kill cancer cells and shrink tumors. It is also used after surgery to prevent the recurrence of cancer. D. Observation is not a treatment option for cancer. If cancer is present, it is important to take action and treat it to prevent its spread. A 65-year-old male patient comes to the clinic with a history of increased frequency of urination, pain during urination, and fatigue. What is the most likely diagnosis for this patient based on the symptoms he is presenting? Your options are a. Prostate cancer, B. Testicular cancer, C. Colon cancer, D. Bone cancer. The correct answer is A or prostate cancer. The symptoms that the patient is presenting are commonly seen in patients with prostate cancer. These symptoms include increased frequency of urination, pain during urination, and fatigue. A digital rectal examination is recommended for patients over 50 years old to detect prostate cancer. A blood test to measure the prostatic-specific antigen, PSA, levels is also a common diagnostic tool for prostate cancer. Option B, testicular cancer, is not likely based on the symptoms presented as it typically presents with a hard, rubber-like lump in the testicles. Option C, colon cancer, may present with symptoms such as abdominal pain and changes in bowel habits, but it is not commonly associated with symptoms of increased frequency of urination and pain during urination. Option D, bone cancer, is not likely based on the symptoms presented as it typically presents with pain in the affected area and a noticeable lump or swelling. A 40-year-old woman recently underwent a mammogram as part of her annual screening and was told that the results were abnormal. She is now worried and wants to know what the next steps are. What type of biopsy is performed to remove an entire cyst or mass for diagnostic purposes? A. Aspiration. B. Excisional. C. Incisional. D. D. Palliative. The correct answer is B, or excisional explanation. An excisional biopsy is performed to remove the entire cyst or mass for diagnostic purposes. This type of biopsy is used to determine if the cyst or mass is cancerous or benign. In this case, an excisional biopsy may be necessary to diagnose the abnormal results found on the woman's mammogram. A. Aspiration is a type of biopsy where a needle is used to remove a small sample of tissue. C. Incisional biopsy is a type of biopsy where only a portion of the cyst or mass is removed for diagnostic purposes. D. Palliative is a type of treatment that aims to relieve symptoms and improve quality of life, but does not cure the underlying condition.